The Great Pyramid of Giza has long been a subject of fascination and mystery, with many theories surrounding its construction and purpose. In a recent podcast interview with Chris Dunn, a machining and engineering expert, new evidence linking Tesla technology to the Great Pyramid has been discussed. Dunn theorizes that the Great Pyramid of Giza is a solid-state electron harvester that gathers electrons from Aus rock deep inside the Earth and creates microwave energy. He also suggests that there was a huge hydrogen explosion inside the king's chamber, potentially occurring during a cataclysmic event 12,000 years ago. The discussion delves into the details of the Great Pyramid, including the different chambers and shafts. Dunn explains that the Queen's Chamber had two shafts, one of which was found to have a crack leading to an open space. Further exploration revealed a blockage at the end of the shaft, as well as metal fittings and corrosion on the pins. Dunn's research also includes a model experiment in which he recreated the conditions of the shafts in a lab setting. By introducing chemicals and creating a reaction, he was able to demonstrate the potential function of the shafts in producing hydrogen. One of the most intriguing discoveries is a previously undisclosed opening in the northern shaft, located about 98 feet up. This opening raises questions about the delivery of chemicals into the shafts and the potential function of the space outside the pyramid. The discussion also touches on the significance of the salt encrustation found in the Queen's Chamber, as well as the presence of symbols and markings on the chamber floor. These findings hint at the potential electrical and chemical processes that may have taken place within the pyramid. Dunn explains that the Great Pyramid is not just a simple structure, but rather a complex system that may have been designed to harness and distribute energy. He discusses the presence of bends and steps within the pyramid, which he believes are intentional and serve a specific function. According to Dunn, these features are reminiscent of a waveguide, a device used to correct the beam of energy as it travels through different steps and bends. The quarter wave point within the pyramid is highlighted as a significant location, as it is believed to be a high energy point in the resonant chamber. Dunn also points out the specific positioning of the pyramid's shafts, which he believes were designed to avoid interference with the grand gallery and to pass energy through the structure. The podcast also delves into the potential connection between the Great Pyramid and Tesla's technology. Dunn introduces the concept of the Tesla connection, which involves the release of electrons from the lithosphere and the distribution of energy through a dome-like structure. This theory suggests that the pyramid may have been a massive energy manufacturing site, drawing energy from the Earth's lithosphere and distributing it through a Tesla-like system. Dunn also discusses his exploration of the Serapium, a subterranean complex near the Great Pyramid, where he observed massive granite boxes with precise dimensions and polished surfaces. He describes the precision of the granite boxes, noting that they exhibit levels of accuracy that are uncommon in ancient structures. Dunn speculates on the potential purpose of these boxes, including the idea that they may have been used to grow crystals as suggested by aerospace engineer Eric Wilson. The conversation also touches on Dunn's interactions with Egyptian authorities and his attempts to measure and analyze the precision of the granite boxes. He highlights the challenges of conducting precise measurements in ancient structures and the implications of the findings for understanding the capabilities of ancient civilizations. One of the key topics of discussion was the Petri core, a tapered core with spiral grooves that was found in the Valley Temple near the Great Pyramid. Chris Dunn and his colleagues, including geologists and aerospace engineers, conducted various experiments to determine the nature of the grooves. They wrapped threads around the core and used high-powered readers to inspect it, ultimately concluding that the grooves were indeed spiral, contradicting previous claims that they were horizontal. In addition to the Petri core, Dunn also discussed the Giza power plant theory, which proposes that the Great Pyramid was a solid-state electron harvester. He explained that the precision and resonance of the granite used in the construction of the pyramid suggest advanced technological knowledge and capabilities. Dunn also highlighted the significance of ellipsoids in Egyptian statuary 
and their potential connection to advanced engineering techniques. Another intriguing topic of discussion was the examination of a pre-dynastic vase, which was found to have incredibly precise features that seemed beyond the capabilities of ancient Egyptian artisans. The vase was scanned using structured white light scanning, and the resulting STL file was analyzed by a researcher in Spain who concluded that the vase appeared to have been made using computer technology. Throughout the podcast, Dunn emphasized the importance of conducting thorough metrology examinations of artifacts in Egyptian museums to validate his findings and dispel any doubts or skepticism. He also encouraged Egyptian engineers to take the same steps and conduct their own examinations to further explore the mysteries of ancient Egyptian technology.